In this video, I will be discussing general safety guidelines for the proper storage and use of our long granule products. Long granules have become quite popular and today are used for many pest problems around the home. Since long granules are almost always ready to use, they're relatively safe to handle and store. That being said, there are some practical guidelines you should follow regarding their storage and use. Long granules are usually packed in bags of 10 or 25 pounds. These bags need to be kept dry and should be stored on a shelf or in a cabinet up off the floor and out of the reach of children and pets. Most all require water to activate the chemical release so they will remain stable as long as they remain dry. The pre-application preparation when using long granules is usually minimal. Such sites are almost always open areas of the yard, including grass and mulch islands. Allow a buffer zone or untreated band around any sensitive area like a pond or a lake. Ten feet is a good buffer zone and should keep the treatment from translocating to sensitive areas due to rain or physical contact with people and animals. As always, we recommend keeping children and pets away from these areas during the treatment. And though safety equipment isn't required, there are some general guidelines you should follow. Since there is no mixing required and the granules are usually poured from the bag into holding tanks on granule spreaders, you don't even have to wear gloves during the application. But in most cases, using work gloves is suggested. Standard leather yard type work gloves are ideal for pushing around the granule spreader and should be used if you'll be applying the product with this kind of equipment. Eye protection is not required, and though the granules might be tossed out of the spreader you are using, they should be low to the ground and not pose a hazard to any area above your knees. In other words, eye protection should not be needed. Dust masks, however, might be needed with certain long granules since some brands have more dust than others. If the application is being done on a humid day or if there is a slight breeze present, granule dust will be even more noticeable. It's best to put off application if the wind is too strong, but even on calm days, it is common for some granule dust to float around. In most cases, this dust will not be dangerous. That being said, it should not be inhaled if possible. A simple dust mask will work well for providing sufficient protection from any dust. If you're applying some type of repellent granule that has a strong odor, the use of a respirator may be considered. Repellents can have smells that are irritating or annoying, and most any good respirator will remove most of the smell from the air you're breathing. Once the application is complete, there is generally no wait time for people and pets before they can re-enter. When applied properly, most granules will be spread so thin they won't be noticed. More importantly, they won't pose a hazard since the granules will be scattered out thin and over a large area. It will be fine for people and pets to walk over treated areas once you've done the application and have let the area settle for at least 5 to 10 minutes. In fact, letting people walk over the treated area may not be wise until you've had a chance to water in the granules. Remember, most all granular products will require some water to get the active ingredient released. This is generally done by watering the lawn, but some people rely on rainfall. Regardless of which you use, it is important that the product be equally dispersed for it to work properly. Allowing people to walk over the treatment is okay and shouldn't disturb the distribution much, but extreme activity in these areas should be avoided. This is largely due to the lack of active ingredient in most long granules commonly used today. In summary, the use of any granule in the yard can be done safely around the home where people and pets commonly occupy. Be sure to store long granules in cabinets where they can be kept dry and out of reach from children and pets. And always keep pets and the kids away from the areas you're treating during the application process. Once applied in the area allowed to ventilate for a few minutes, people and pets can re-enter without worry. When applied properly, granules should be spread so thin they won't pose a hazard to anyone that comes in contact with treated surfaces. As always, consult the label of any product you're about to use to ensure safe handling. And if you have any questions regarding its use of storage, please call us at 1-800-877-7290. Thanks for watching.